everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Christina and today is going to be my introduction into my 2024 rolling tin project pan now this project pan is always kind of the main one that I do every year and basically what you do is you take 10 makeup items and you uh, hit goals on them so you can either hit pan on them or completely finish them and then once you hit your goal you roll in another item to replace it and you can kind of rotate through a lot of items in a year that way you're not limited to 10 things in a year um, you can get a lot of progress depending on what your goals are. So that is what this project is. I'm going to go ahead and introduce all of the products and the weights and the progress, like the intro photos of all of the products. Um, but if this kind of content is interesting to you, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button because I do a lot of project panning videos here. I also have started uploading thrifting videos, so if those are interesting, definitely hit the subscribe button. And now, let's jump into the products. Actually, before we jump into the products, I'm sorry I look like this. I was planning on wearing like a cute outfit today, but we are getting like three to four inches of snow right now. So I, I look like this instead. I was outside playing in the snow, making snowmen and stuff. So I look a little disheveled, but hopefully you guys understand, you know, live in life before I film. But anyways, I know that's not even that important, but in case you're... <laughs> I feel like I look like a bum. <laughs> a little bit but anyways let's jump into the products so the first one is actually one that if you were here last year you would have saw me make this i have a short or two shorts i think still up on my channel um showing the the creation of this product and it's a franken blush so there are these two are the exact same shade it just made a lot so it filled two pans and then this franken blush these were created from my pan that palette last year there was two red shades in there that i didn't use too much and a blush that i was basically almost finished and basically had panned already um so i put them all together made some blushes and i would like to try and not finish but just hit pan on this one right here this first one um, just to get some more use out of this palette in general, um, make sure I'm still using these as blushes. And since I made them myself, I don't think it will be too hard because they're not like very firmly pressed because I did it myself. Um, but that is going to be product number one. Just hit pan. Once I hit pan on it, I'll roll it out. Uh, with this guy, I did not take weights of this one because it's a whole palette with other products. So I figured we'll just do progress pictures and tallies for this one as far as keeping track of how many times I use it. So hopefully that's okay, but I figured the weight really wouldn't be very beneficial since there's so much other stuff going on in there. The next few products I'm dubbing my self-care or take care of myself in winter <laughs> category. Uh, these are gonna be kind of gimme products, but also products that remind me to actually do this because I went from a tropical climate to a colder climate and I need to get in the habit of using these things more frequently. So the first one is actually one that was in Project Pan last year, and I have men I mentioned it in the finale, I need to finish it, and it's the ColourPop Uncle Eero lip mask. This is from the Avatar collab. I love this lip mask. It is so close to being done, but the packaging is starting to leak on me now, and it's honestly, this should be a gimme product as well. I definitely should be able to finish this, and I need to be because my lips are drier here since it's cold. Um, so that is this guy. The lip mask is starting out at the weight of 30.73 grams, which I still don't know how it's that heavy. It has to just be the packaging because there's such a small amount of product in here. Um, so I thought that was a little odd. I don't think this should be a problem. At this point now, I am pretty determined. I had a whole year where I stretched it out because I love it so much, but I think it's gotten to the point now where I just need to use it. So going to focus on it, get it out. Hopefully by March, I should be done with that. And then I can roll in something else and hopefully my lips will thank me. Completely in the same category. I'm sorry my fireplace is making noise. Hopefully that's not too annoying. In the same category is this lip scrub. So I actually got this from my aunt for Christmas and I haven't opened it yet because I, I, I'm just bad at using stuff like this sometimes. So I'm throwing in this project uh, just to get use out of it. It is still completely sealed. So when I took the initial photos, which you guys will be seeing right now, the initial photos, I didn't unseal it because I don't want to make a mess, but also just to show that like it hasn't been touched at all. There is no movement, not even like smelling it. I haven't opened it a single time. So I figured throwing it into this would be a really good um, starting point. And also we get complete metrics again. I love throwing in brand new products and getting all of the tallies and the progress photos to see how fast you can actually use something up. And then I can break it down per cost, per use. 
which is always fun if you like math. The lip scrub is starting out at 50.40 grams and that is really heavy, but this feels like glass or really heavy acrylic on the bottom. So a lot of that probably is packaging as well, but I'm excited to use this. This was from the, the Rudolph collection from ColourPop this year, the Christmas one. And it's so cute. I love it. I'm really excited. I think it might be peppermint scented. It just says Rudolph Lippy Scrub. So I don't know if it has a scent. I don't want to open it yet until I start using it. Um, just to keep it as pristine as possible for pictures and stuff. Um, but I'm very happy to be throwing something in like that. Because again, it's something that I need to be incorporating more frequently. Now lip scrubs aren't something that I would use daily. Personally, I'd probably use it every four days or so. Every few days. Um, or once a week at most so that one I could see staying in for a while at least until the summer And then I think I'll probably be done with it by then like I said This is my self-care category same thing The next one is also kind of a self-care kind of item and that's my hand lotion and This is my current hand lotion I have in my purse So it's kind of a gimme as you guys can see I am slowly working my way through it I'm not sure what the brand on this is my husband got this for me last year when he was traveling to Peru or Brazil or Colombia I don't remember my husband went to so many countries last year I, I don't remember but he bought this for me in a South American country and <laughs> I've been using it it's been my purse it's super nice um, but it shouldn't be hard for me to finish I just kind of want to ensure that I do so that's that's this guy that's what this is this is starting out at 32.49 grams and again I think a lot of that is probably packaging this feels like a 10 or like uh, aluminum kind of packaging it's like I don't know if y'all can hear that but it's like a tin yeah it just feels like a alloy metal almost so that is what the weight is probably because I really don't think will be much more use of this this is also a really nice consistency for a hand lotion I'll put it on my hand now my hands are like consistently dry but like it's like really thin hand lotion and so it's not hard to use a good bit of this it doesn't keep my hands moisturized for like a full day or anything so i do tend to use it in the morning and again at night and that tends to work pretty good but my hands are still pretty dry this might be up by the first update if not definitely the second one just because of how frequently i tend to use this because it lives in my purse uh so i may not have the most accurate tallies for this one because it doesn't tend to stay with all my other stuff um, and also it gets used by my husband if like we're out so tallies won't be 100% accurate I just want to make sure I get it out I have another one that he bought me when he was in whatever country he got this in um, and I want to use that one next um, but that one's a new tube so self-care section done the next item is a lip gloss I, I threw in a couple of products in this project so in total I'm, I'm trying to use up a lot of lip products but it's the largest section of my collection at this point that could easily be used so I figured it needs to be done so we're throwing in this wet and wild lip gloss I think I tried to throw it in a project last year and wasn't successful but this is the mega slick lip gloss in the color what color is this nude mood uh, as for weight it's starting out at 16.36 grams and a lot of that's probably packaging again it's showing a window in there already but this may be because I've had it laying on its side for a really long time um, I didn't have enough time before filming to kind of let it settle more, um, especially because it's a thicker lip gloss. But the fact that it's showing a window makes me think that, you know, there is a good bit of movement in there. I mean, I can swirl and rub the edge and kind of see... well, maybe not. Maybe it's full. Who knows? Um, but this is just a regular nude lip gloss with really teeny tiny shimmers in them. I don't think this one will be very difficult to use up but I tend to say that about lip products and then they, they kick my butt. So we will see. I'm really hopeful though. I, I, I would like to finish this one, definitely. The next one is another lip product and it's also one that I was working on last year and I was probably going to finish it if my life didn't become chaotic at the end of the year. If we didn't move last year, I think this one would have definitely been done um, because I ended up packing this one away in boxes <laughs> and it, it stayed in there for months. This is the Lawless Lip Balm, Lip Tint. They're not very pigmented. I'm not sure what these are called, but the Lawless Lip Color in the color Georgie. Uh, this is all I have left. This is it rolled all the way up. So I actually made incredible progress last year because like I said, they're not very pigmented. It's like a lip tint, definitely. Um, really easy to throw these on. I can throw these on in my car without even looking because of how like sheer they are. So again, 
I don't see this being an issue. I do think it will take me a while, so I'm gonna give myself probably until the summer, until I think I would really probably finish this. But overall, I don't think it will take too long at all. As for starting weight, this one is starting out at 17.76 grams, and I did take pictures of the height in my journal. So right here, you guys can see, I measured from the bottom of the page up, um, and it's not very high at all. So I will have those in the first update to show you guys how much it actually moved and how many uses I I did to accomplish the movement. Um, I, I like looking at those. I've typically been pretty bad about taking photos of it, so I really wanna try hard this year and get photos like that, because um, I think it's a little bit easier to measure that way. Don't think this one will be too difficult either. I would also like to finish this one. This one's gonna be a little bit more difficult to see progress. Again, I will be taking tallies, but like progress pictures, I'm not gonna have them because of the packaging, and that's this guy. This is the Milk Cosmetics Kush Clear Brow Gel. This is something that I can throw on on no makeup days just to keep my brows in place if I feel like it, or on days where I don't feel like wearing a tinted brow gel, this is a good option. I just wanna kinda get this one out because I don't tend to reach for clear brow gels very often because typically if I'm not wearing makeup, I don't wanna throw anything on. So just to kind of use it up, I'm gonna try and do it that way. Um, this wouldn't be something I would repurchase at all. It's, it's just not a product that really appeals to me. Um, cause if I'm gonna know, if I'm gonna do a no makeup look, it's gonna be no makeup. So it doesn't really appeal to me too much. Uh, starting weight for this is 12.59 grams. And again, it's, it's solid packaging. So we're not gonna be see, we're not gonna be able to see the movement on the inside, but hopefully the weights are a good indicator and the tallies of how often I'm using something. But yeah. This one might be difficult just because it's not a product that really appeals to me as much. It's why I haven't used it very much. I don't know why it's in my collection. Next item is another one that I definitely tried working on last year and I underestimated how difficult it would be because you don't need a lot to get really good impact with this one. And it's the Merit Bronzer or Contour Stick. Mine is in the color Quin Quince? Quince. Anyways, that's what this is. Um, a good bit of product in here. I also measured this one on my journal so we can see it, but I mean, it's a good bit of product in here left. I made really good progress last year though, so I'm not too worried about finishing it overall throughout this year. It definitely was something that was way too ambitious to throw in in September and think that I was gonna finish last year, but for a whole year, I think I can get through this stick easily, especially once summer comes. I can use it. I used it. I did not use it today. I was going to say I did. I didn't. I used another bronzer, but it, once summer comes, I'll be using this one a lot. Honestly, I can use it a lot during winter here too because I don't have to set anything now because it's not humid. Um, so I'm not using as much powder. I can probably get away with putting on a good bit of this, blending it out, and leaving it to go. I don't think I should struggle with this for an entire year. It'll probably take me all year to do it, um, but I think this would be a good one to get out. This one is starting out at the weight of 31.12 grams, so a good bit in there. But again, packaging feels relatively heavy. Not the heaviest, um, and I do have a crack on mine on the back, so not the highest quality packaging, even though it looks really pretty. But I'm feeling good. I wanna finish this one. Another Merit product is product number nine, and this is another brow gel. But this is a brow pomade. This one is tinted and also has tiny little fibers in it. So this is the brow gel that I tend to lean towards on low makeup or no makeup days, um, especially if I feel like I'm looking really washed out and I want to like quickly go do something. This is what I reach for because I have very, very light eyebrows. So I like anything with a tint and especially with fibers to kind of give me a little bit of a boost. Um, so this one I think will be gone really quickly actually because I tend to reach for this one a lot. Even if I'm doing full face, like I, I threw it in my brows this morning just to kind of hold everything together. This is this one's definitely gonna be gone fast, I think. This one is starting out at the weight of 18.68 grams. And again, packaging on a lot of that. This packaging always confuses me every time because I always want this part to be where the pomade is. It's not, it's the smaller part. The long part is the wand, which I wanted it to be more product. I actually do really like this from Merit. It's a good brow gel or brow pomade. It tints like it's supposed to. Um, mine is just in the color brown, just brown. It is a bit warm. I probably, if I repurchase this, it would be in like a cooler tone. This one's a little warm, but I can get away with it typically. And then last product is another gimme and another kind of self care one, not really. Um, this is just a perfume. This is a sample perfume. This is the Prada Candy. 
one it's a bit of a summer scent but i have such a small amount in here and i just want to get it out um i have a bad habit of not wearing perfume or forgetting to spray it on if i'm going out so just to you know make a little bit more of an effort if i'm going out somewhere especially use up my perfumes get them out keep them rotating because after a while they just don't smell good anymore and this one's so close i just don't want it to go to waste with that small amount you know so that is this one i weighed this one outside of its like carrying tube so i just weighed this but if you guys see me holding up the whole thing just just know i didn't measure with this on it the weight for this one started out at 15.34 grams and it's not a lot of product in there as you guys can see this is definitely a gimme product i want to finish this and i will probably cycle through a lot of perfumes this year through this project because uh, I do have a good many of like samples and smaller perfume bottles that I just don't use frequently enough I need to get into it so that one I want to finish and that is all 10 products so ultimately my goal is to basically finish every single product I just introduced except for the blush the blush will just be hitting pan and then moving on um, and my overall goal I think for this year Typically I try to match the year that we're in, but I don't think 24 products for me is realistic, especially because a lot of these are longer haul ones. I think if I could finish 15 makeup items this year or hit goals on 15 makeup items this year in this project, I'll be happy because obviously I have other projects going as well. Um, so ultimately 15 items this year is what I'm gonna try and aim for. I think that could be doable, especially because I'm throwing in some like gimme products. Um, and then with the long haul makeup items, it will give me more flexibility to focus on those rather than being so worried about hitting a really large goal. I think 15 is super realistic for where I'm at in my collection. And I think from there, that is all of the information you guys need for this project. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are excited for all of the new project pans this year. I'm really excited. I feel very reinvigorated and just ready to start anew this year uh, again thank you to everyone who was here last year or years previous um, you guys know last year was rough for me and I'm just I'm back to it I'm very excited to get into this and yeah I'm gonna go play in the snow now so I hope you all are doing amazing thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye